All right, well, I was asked the other day by someone on Twitter, does David Hay deserve a title shot? Now, obviously, David Hay's been off for a while. Just recently fought on January 16th against Mark DeMore, but his previous fight before that was on um, July 14th of 2012. So obviously, there was a big layoff there of four years before he fought DeMore this past January. So based off of this fight with DeMore, I'm hearing that he possibly may be fighting or he's looking to fight Lucas Brown, the regular WBA heavyweight champion who just recently knocked out Ruslan Chagayev to win that title. Now David Hay is scheduled to fight on May 21st, but there's no opponent has been announced. So it seems like he's holding out to see if he could get a match with Lucas Brown. Now, this is a complicated question that I was asked because we know how boxing works. And it's not really, does anyone deserve this or does anyone deserve that? It's what type of deal you can negotiate and what type of position you're in to be able to command certain things in this sport. Now, David Hayes is obviously a polarizing figure in the sport of boxing because of his personality, because he's a really, really dynamic boxer. He's a knockout punch. He's got a very exciting style. And people like David Hayes. You know, American fans know who he is. He's with Al Heyman now as well. And uh, he can put butts in the seats. So, you know, from a, a, I don't know, from a basic boxing standpoint in terms of uh, putting in the work, you know, fighting a Demore after being off for four years and then just coming back and wanting to be thrown right back in the mix, I, I can understand how someone would question that, but me just knowing how the sport is and understanding the sport, and I'm not, and I'm not saying that other people don't understand the sport, but looking at it just from my own personal experience, you know, I, I think David Hay does deserve a title shot, you know, because it's not what you deserve, it's what you're able to negotiate, and believe me, David Hay is a name, David Hay can probably sell out the O2 very easily, and, you know, Lucas Brown would be a good fight for him, I mean, Lucas Brown's a decent fighter, not a world beater, but he's, he's, a, he's a champion, so it could be a, a quick route to a championship for David Hay, number one, and number two, it could be an even precursor to a fight with Anthony Joshua, if Anthony Joshua could beat Charles Martin in April, which I pretty much think he will do, with all due respect to Charles Martin. So yeah, I, I, I would like to see David Hay be in a big fight, be in a big title fight, and uh, yeah, I think he deserves it because... <laughs> People would want to see it, and that's what boxing's all about, making the fights that people want to see. Whether or not you think someone's worthy of the fight or not, you know, boxing boxing is more than just fights. Sometimes boxing can be about events, and when David Hay fights, he's in events. So, yeah, to answer that question, yeah, David Hay does deserve to be in a title fight. All right, guys, until next time, talk to you all soon. Beebs out. Peace.